Hello friends, Adam here with FED. I was thinking about Three Houses and what its biggest influences are as far as uh, other games in the series. And it came down to uh, one game in particular com com came to my mind multiple times. And I was like, this is it. This is the game that Three Houses is most like in the series. And maybe to your surprise, it's going to be Fire Emblem Gaiden, which is the second game in the series. So, Three Houses is the 16th, 16th game, or 17th game, and if, you, if you can't BS Fire Emblem for, for whatever reason. Yes, for those who don't know, there is a there is a game in the series called BS Fire Emblem. It was released on the SNES, the Super Famicom, Satellaview system, all that stuff. That doesn't matter, but it's just a kind of a funny tidbit of knowledge. Um, anyways, Three Houses feels very inspired by Gaiden. And I guess you could just say, oh, then, then it was just inspired by Echoes. But Echoes is such a faithful remake of Gaiden that, like, of course, it, like, it's just, yeah, you know? It has to be, it has to be. And now let's talk about some of the similarities. Let's talk about some of the similarities. I think the number one thing that I, I thought about here was how promotions work. Promoting in Gaiden with, uh, when you do so, your character's stats are just raised to the base stats of that class. And it's less about getting like these big promotion bonuses like it is in, in say, uh, Thracia or in uh, the later titles, FE6, FE7, th those games, right? The GBA games. Promoting there, it's like a big stat booster. Whereas in Gaiden, it's more about just improving your stats to what they should be already. <laughs> And I think that's actually a really cool concept, and it makes levels less important uh, aside from promoting, and it makes early promoting like a no-brainer. Like you always want to early promote. And I think Three Houses kind of has the, the similar philosophy. There's next to no reason to wait to promote in Three Houses unless you're really trying to master a class and you haven't yet. Uh, but that's that's so rare. I find that if you if you're ready to promote, you should just do it. <laughs> In three houses and also you does the same thing with your stats it raises the bases to the bases of that class and it may not be as noticeable because those growths are a lot higher uh, than they are in guide in, in three houses but because you're so your units are generally just at the bases already but there's sometimes where it's actually kind of funny you know you, like people will talk about putting lysithia into armor knight to get her that 12 defense base and you know it makes me think of uh Choosing to put like Cliff or something in Soldier and then into to Armor Knight, so he has insane defense, right? So stuff like that, stuff like that. And then I think, okay, what well, what else? Is the, the class thing? Is, it's kind of loose. It's also very superficial. How else do the games tie together? And I think uh, class pathing. I mean, not class pathing, like story pathing, right? Gaiden is the first game in the series to introduce a. Uh, I don't want to say it's not a route split per se. But it is a two different paths that you can follow, and you do you do both of them. But there's two different ones, and I think three you know three houses does that too. And yes, you're like, oh well, Fates did that. I got it from Fates. But hey, Gaiden came before Fates. Where do you think Fates got it from? Where do you think Sacred Stones got it from? It's very uh, very similar to that, right? So that's a, a interesting thought as well. Narratively speaking, I don't I don't really know if there's any like ties that way, but gameplay it just feels so so similar when I think about it. There's also like endless grinding options. Both games have that, so that's a thing. They both have like monsters and stuff. I mean, they're different, a different like style of monsters, but they both have monster enemies and like big beasts that you have to fight, dragons and stuff. I don't know, man. I, I just think the games are uh, they tie together way more than you would think in terms of similarities. It's kind of funny. Uh, you, you could, again, you could argue that other games maybe inspired it more. But Gaiden came first, so I'm going to say that one inspired it the most. Anyways, those are just some rambling thoughts on this topic. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think that uh, Gaiden was a heavy inspiration for Three Houses? Be curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, in a lot of ways, I feel like Gaiden really is like the first modern Fire Emblem in that uh, it handles the game less like a strategy game and more like an RPG. But yeah, share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, subscribe for more Fire Emblem stuff. And like the video so more people see it and helps the channel grow. Also helps the Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem community grow as a whole. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, friends.